Alright guys, today I've got a video here on my Galaxy S4 and I'm going to show you guys today how to get KitKat on the Galaxy S4. This is um, official software but it is leaked software so it has a couple extra things that are kind of nice in it and it's actually going to be able to do this and we're going to be able to have root access on KitKat by doing this upgrade. So it'll be how to install KitKat and keep root access. Um, there's going to be some prerequisites to this. Uh, I'm going to have all kinds of files you're going to need to check out in the video description down below. Go to an XDA post um, and download a bunch of files and you'll see full list of directions there as well. So make sure you go ahead and get all your files set up on your computer so you have everything so you can follow along through this process. Um, besides that, you're going to have to have root access on your device already. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm running right now. You need to be on this build. so. You need to be on right here MK2. That is the baseband slash last three of the build number, um, which is Android 4.3. So you need to be on that. You need to have root access, like I said, and you need to have Safe Strap installed. So you guys can see right there, I have Super Sue right there for root access, and right there is my Safe Strap application. You also need to be on Safe Strap 3.71. Now, if you don't have any of these prerequisites met, um, check out my video playlist on this device. I've got tons of stuff on it. Very, very good. You can check those out and get up to speed so we're all on the same page here. Alright, so all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and reboot into recovery, which is safe strap. And we're going to boot into recovery. Um, before we actually boot into recovery, I just skipped that. But um, you need to make sure you have the NC2 rooted stock zip on your SD card and you know where it's at. So make sure that is downloaded onto your device. Um, so that's going to be very important because what we're actually going to do here, and I'll show you, we're going to do a bunch of steps in SafeStrap. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and go in here and activate. Well, if you have any ROM slots activated, go ahead and activate them, okay? Back out, go to Restores, and see if you have anything that's for ROM slots. So I have a ROM slot backup right here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that, go ahead and delete it and go back. And then I have a stock system backup, I'll, I'll leave that one alone. Um, but I did delete any ROM slots you have. So then go back into boot options, activate um, stock ROM slot. Because right now what we're going to do is we're going to do some wiping and flashing on the stock ROM slot. So um, basically, well, we'll see what we got here. So we deleted, oh, we also have to delete any stock, any ROM slots. So um, we're activated on this one. We can go in here, and then instead of activating it, go ahead and delete it. And this deletes that ROM slot. Now this is going to actually kind of wipe off everything on your device, so just be informed that you're going to lose all your data and everything by doing this process, but once you're done, you will have KitKat and you will have root access. All right. So we've gone ahead. We've got everything cleaned up and safe strap how we want it. We shouldn't have any ROM slots. Yep, everything's clear. We're on stock ROM slot. And I normally never ever recommend this when you're using SafeStrap, but for this process, we're actually going to do some wipes. So we're going to go into wipe. We're going to go into advanced. And we're going to pick Delvic, data, cache, system, and swipe across. And this is going to be a full wipe of our device, okay? Everything is getting wiped off here. There's no re returning at this point. All right, so everything's wiped off. We're going to go back. We're going to go back. Back again. And we're going to go to install. Now you have to find that right here is the, it is NC2 rooted stock zip. And go ahead and swipe across to install this zip. So this is actually installing KitKat or, or KitKat ROM, I should say. And then what we're going to do when it's done is you'll have KitKat, but you don't have all of the other like um, recovery images and radio images and all that other stuff that you can't flash in SafeStrap um, on your device. So we'll have to then flash those in Odin. So as soon as this is done um, installing, which it is a decent sized file, so it is going to take a little bit of time. So let this, let's let this install and then we'll continue on with the process and I'll shoot over to my computer and show you guys uh, some of the stuff we got to do here. All right, so that install is done. Now, a lot of people normally be like, okay, reboot system. No, no, no. We're not doing that yet. All right. 
So we gotta back out of this and we have to go to reboot and then we have to go reboot to download mode. This is very important because we gotta finish installing the rest of KitKat. Alright, so this device is gonna boot into download mode. Now that we're in download mode, let's shoot over to my computer and let me show you the rest of the stuff we have to uh, do with this device. Alright, so here we are on my computer. This is all of the files that you guys are going to need. I have extracted a lot of them. Um, so obviously, like I said, make sure you have all these downloaded beforehand. All from that XDA post, they should all be there. So um, make sure you have your Samsung drivers installed. You just click on it and install them. Very simple. Mine are already installed. I'm not going to really mess with it. Once you have those installed, go ahead down here to your, your device. Plug in your USB cable to your device since it's in download mode. And go ahead and give those drivers just a couple minutes to install. Shouldn't take too long. Then let's go back up to the computer. All right, so we got to flash over the rest of these files to get official KitKat. So what you're going to do is get Odin and go ahead and run the exe file. And it comes up like this. And it actually says it's got a COM port and it's added. That means all your drivers are functioning. doesn't matter your COM number. It just needs to have a number there. That means everything's communicating correctly. All right, don't uncheck or check any of this other stuff. It should automatically be set up how you need it. Next, go to BL right here and find those files you extracted. So I want the BL file, so I'll click on it. And it just checks the file really quick to make sure it's good, and it is. So then you go to AP and find those files. AP, again, checks it, and they're good. And then lastly, you go to CP, find that file, and again, it checks it, and it's good. So you have all three of these files listed. At this point, you can go ahead and hit start. And this should go pretty quick. Um, you can watch it on the screen up there, but I'm going to check out the phone and uh, show you there's a bar going across there. And when it's done, the device should do a reboot and you should be running KitKat. We do have one other quick step we need to do when that's done. So let's just let this run. There you go. It is rebooted. Um, Odin says reset uh, and everything should be booting up here. So there you go. You can see we still have safe strap in there, but this safe strap is non-functional at this point. We need to get a KitKat version of safe strap, and I will show you guys that also after this thing boots. But there's a couple quick steps we are going to need to do once this is all done. So there you go. This is going to be uh, first boot up here for um, KitKat but before it's fully done we're, we are going to do one more thing alright here we go guys um, first boot up did take a little bit probably about three minutes to boot um, so here you go you're back at your uh, setup screen I'm going to use Wi-Fi only for right now this does happen on this for right now it's a little glitch in it it's not the end of the world it says there's an Android that process that force closes there it's actually not a problem it does it a couple times but it will go away I think it does it twice and then it's gone um, go ahead and hit next I'm gonna assign it to my Wi-Fi really quick I do not have a sim card in this it does function though okay so now that we've booted up um, we're gonna actually boot off again and um, we'll actually uh, shoot we'll, we'll get in here manually so we're gonna unplug our cable really quick and we got to get back into download mode and flash one more file. So to do that, we'll just power off. We'll get into download mode the manual way, which is to hold volume down, home, and power until you see screen light up and should be in this mode. Hit volume up and we'll be in download mode once again. We got to flash one more file really quickly in uh, Odin. So we're all plugged in again. Let's go back to Odin really quick on my computer and flash this last file. All right, so you can see our status of those other ones all passed. We're actually going to exit the program and re-enter the program. And all we got to do is come in here again. You make sure your ports, everything's connected and functioning. We're just going to go to PA, and we're going to flash this cache tar MD5 file for NC2. And you just click on it. It's going to do a quick little check of it wham bam thank you ma'am everything's good hit start and again this is going to flash very 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 quickly i think here i don't think it's a very big file normally cache isn't very big and doesn't take too long again you got progress bar down below and you can see odin functioning up here 
Um, like I said, not a big deal. As soon as it's done, it's going to reboot the device. Recovery, and it's actually gonna do a little quick flash here in recovery automatically for the cache. Um, and then you will do your reboot. At this point, you can close your program on the computer. You can actually unplug your cable, so not needed anymore. And we'll just be able to run the device here to finish this up. Well, if you run into this little problem right here, copying media files, preload, check in. So if you run into this, just come in here and go down to wipe the partition do a quick little wipe of it and reboot system now you should be good to go a little funky not really sure what that was about um, but I know when we flash that cache partition um, that's really all you're really worrying about right there is just doing that little reboot and wiping cache out all right, <clears throat> so we should there again. Like I said, you have safe strip still on here technically, but it's not going to work with KitKat until we update or Hashcode gives us a new updated safe strap for the Verizon variant, or you can use the AT&T um, safe strap, like I was telling you. So final boot up here. is going to be KitKat on the Galaxy S4 Verizon. Um, let me just uh, get into settings really quickly and show you about phone. There you go, Android 4.4.2, baseband NC2, build NC2. We uh, tap on here, we get our little K, hold down, and there is KitKat. So very, very exciting. We want to double check we have root access on this device. Here is Super Sue. No thanks later. And shabam, you have root access. You can download um, Root Checker if you want to double check it, but I know by opening up root uh, like that, Super Sue, and it doesn't give me some kind of error, I know that means root access is functioning correctly. All right, so that's going to be pretty much everything you guys are going to need to know on how to set up root access on this device. Um, lastly, we do need to update to SafeStrap, and right now the SafeStrap version we need is 3.7.2, um, which is technically, for it to function right, if you want to use it, it's technically an AT&T version of. I'll give you guys links in it in the video description. Hopefully, SafeStrap will update the Verizon S4 uh, variant of it, and we'll have uh, an official one for us. But right now, you can use that. Um, at least to be able to flash ROMs and some other things. It should function for what I'm reading in the XDA post that I got this information from. So definitely go check that out. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much what we've got here. Everything else should be fully functioning. If you're having any problems with anything, go ahead and get into recovery and uh, stock recovery and do a wipe data factory reset. Um, otherwise, you should be good to go. You are officially updated and you have root access on your device. So I hope you guys like this video. Hope it was informative for you as always. And stay tuned for more videos on this device and uh, you know all the other ones I'm doing, S5 and everything else that I've got going, HTC One M8, all the goodies. Um, hope you guys like it. Have any problems, definitely check out the XDA for, uh, forum and thread on this uh, little update. And we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.